Hey guys, so first I would like to officially welcome you to my YouTube channel and I would like to thank you so much for clicking on my videos to watch. Um, if you guys know me personally, you know that this has been something that I've been wanting to do for the last year and a half, so I am super excited to be finally sitting down and recording these videos for you guys. So today I wanted to share with you guys some products that I have been using consistently lately, which is very rare for me. I definitely am that kind of person who's always looking for something new, something different to use, but with these few products I'm going to be mentioning, I just, I always go back to them. I have tried to replace a few of them, try to find like something a little bit cheaper or something that, I don't know, it's just new and I, I just can't. I always go back to these guys. I'm always disappointed by other things that I try. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to start off with are actually two eyebrow products. Now, I mean, much like everyone else, my eyebrow journey has been a long one and looking back at photos, I, I cringe at what my eyebrows used to look like and it really hasn't been until the last three or four years that I've really cared about my eyebrows and in the last year and a half I've really really been concentrating on trying to grow my eyebrows in. So like I said before my eyebrow journey has been a long one and I'm that kind of person whose eyebrow hairs are just very very fragile and takes a lot for them to grow in. So I came across this product by Benefit and it's called the Brow Vogue Conditioning Primer and it doesn't claim that it helps make your eyebrow hairs grow um, but that's definitely what it does. And it's basically just like a nutrient rich formula that you put through your eyebrows at nighttime and now in a year and a half that I've been using it consecutively, my eyebrows are significantly different. Now if I stop using this, I know it's different so this is going to be something that I'm going to be using for forever essentially. But yeah, I'm super super in love with it. My eyebrow hair, eyebrows have never been so full and thick and even when they're not filled in, they I mean don't look exactly like this but they're very very full so yeah. Definitely suggest picking this up if you are looking to help your eyebrows grow in. Yeah, definitely a good one. So because I've been using that Brow Vo product from Benefit so consistently, filling in my eyebrows has been so much easier than it used to be. I used to absolutely dread doing my eyebrows because I didn't really have a lot of hair in the front of my eyebrows, so I really would have to block them out, which I didn't even really like the look of. It's just I had no choice because I didn't really have much hair there. But now that I use that, Filling my eyebrows in has been a dream. And the pencil that I always go back to is the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. Now, this has been one of those products that, because it is a little bit more expensive than I really want to pay for an eyebrow pencil, but I've tried to find different products or different pencils from other brands and nothing compares. I mean, the color it's perfect, the uh, how thin the tip is is perfect, it's not too waxy, it's not too dry, like I said before. Uh, if th something is too waxy or even too dry, it pulls out my eyebrow hairs and yeah, this has just been one that I will forever go back to and forever use and yeah, all of Benefit's brow products are amazing so they are all definitely worth checking out. So the next product I want to talk about is actually a concealer and this is one by NARS and it is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I use Medium One Custard and the only beef I have with this line is that the colors are a little bit off. For me at least, I find that custard is, it's a good match, it has the perfect undertone, uh, which is like a yellow undertone, which is great for my skin. However, if I want to go lighter, it goes way too peach or pink, so this one I just have to be really careful with and make sure I really blend it out. If not, you can kind of see it just a little bit, but other than that, I can't talk more highly about this concealer. So the finish of this concealer is super beautiful. I find that I can use it under my eyes, on any blemishes or any scarring that I have. I use my MAC 170 brush just to kind of buff it in or I use a damp beauty blender. Either way, the finish is really nice and I just find that it makes my skin look like my skin but better. So if you're on the lookout for a new concealer, definitely go and check this one out. So the next part I'm gonna talk about are actually some foundations that I've been loving and they're actually two different ones that I mixed together to kind of get my perfect base. So my skin has definitely changed over the last six months. I moved cities and my skin went from being oily to now normal to combination, which is very new for me. To experience any dryness in my skin is super, super strange because I've always just had the most oily face. So I find that now I kind of have to mix uh, foundations together to kind of get my perfect formula. So the first product I found was something that I never thought I would ever use. And it's actually a CC cream, and again, another product that a lot of people use, but is the um, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And as you can tell, 
I literally have used this thing up to the very end. This one's actually empty. I need to go repurchase it. Um, I use the regular formula, but I also use the illumination formula and I love both just as well. I know some people find that the illumination is too sparkly for them, but to be honest, I kind of love that. So what I love so much about the It Cosmetics CC Cream is that it gives your skin such a healthy glow. Now, because I am still slightly more of a combination skin, I have no choice but to set this. I'm really jealous of people who can just kind of put this on and leave it, but I have a lot of issues with creasing in my one smile line here and in my forehead. So I, um, if I don't set it, that definitely happens. So while I love the CC cream on its own, I have now found a counterpart that I mix in with it that makes my makeup look flawless all of the time and I'm super excited about it. So Cover FX has been a brand that I've been in love with for as long as I remember. I used to work at Shopper's Drug Mart when I was 19 and I remember not being able to use any of the drugstore foundations because my skin was so sensitive that everything I used would make me break out. So. I found the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation, which is stunning. I still, it's something I love and use and I have all so many different colors I use in my kit on uh, any clients that I do. But when I heard they were coming out with a new foundation, I don't think I could have been more excited. So Cover FX came out with a new foundation and it is this one right here. And it is the Cover FX Power Play. Now, I really don't think I've ever been so excited for a launch of a foundation in my life. I immediately went and bought it on the day it launched from their website and because they make it so easy to match your skin, I knew that if I'm using G20 in their other foundation that I was also going to be G20 in this one and they did not let me down. So because the Cover FX foundation is more of a matte finish, when I mix these two together, I just find that it's an absolute dream come true for my skin. So like I said before, my crease lines in my forehead and my mouth happen no matter what I do. So I find that when I mix these two together, it is amazing. If I use the cover effects on its own, it's a little bit too matte, but yeah, these two together, absolutely amazing. I definitely suggest either on their own, but together, if you kind of have skin like me, this is what you want to go for. So if you didn't catch on already, I am a huge cover effects fan. And the next product that I want to talk about is something else by them that I've been using for as long as I can remember. So this has probably been my most used product by Cover FX and it is their pressed mineral foundation powder. Now, again, this is one of those things that I always try to find a dupe for because it is a little bit on the pricier side, but I've yet to find something that looks so flawless on my skin. Now for my foundation, I like more of a medium coverage and what I like to do after I kind of set my face with a translucent powder is I go in with this guy and I take a larger buffing brush, like a loose buffing brush, and I just kind of buff it over my skin and I find that it kind of just takes away any of the imperfections that maybe haven't been covered up by my concealers and I find that it just kind of smooths everything out and just gives some life back to my skin. So this is just yet another product from Cover Effects that I think is amazing and that I definitely think you should go and try it out if you haven't already. And yeah, I just, I love it so much. So one of the last things I want to talk about is actually a lip product. And for me to pick one specific formula out of all of the ones that I own is pretty impressive to me because I am that person who keeps five different lipsticks in their bag at all times and this one just takes the cake. So I love these ones so much that I actually keep them in their own little glass box on my desk in my room. And these are the Lancome Matte Shakers. Now I own seven different colors from the Matte Shakers right now, which is a lot because uh, they are about $30 each. But these two here are probably my favorite. And this one is Magic Orange, and this is the one that I'm wearing today. And this one is Completely Nut. So if you aren't familiar with the Matte Shaker formula, what it is is a liquid lipstick but more in a liquid lipstick to stain formula. So it does dry down matte, but it never leaves your lips feeling super dry and it just gives you a really nice wash of color. You can build it up to make it look a little bit more intense, but it just, it wears away really nicely. It always looks super fresh. I just, I'm obsessed with these guys. If someone asks me what I'm wearing on my lips, it's almost always one of these Lancome matte shakers. So if you can't tell already, these are, absolutely my favorite formula. I couldn't love them more and I definitely think you guys should go check them out. So there's one more product I wanted to throw in here as an honorable mention. Now this is new to me, so I can't really say it's a favorite of mine yet, but it is something that I'm enjoying. And it is the Eyes to Mesmerize in Bet by Charlotte Tilbury. It is a super beautiful 
like creamy bronzy eyeshadow that I think is absolutely just stunning. This is the kind of shadow that you can wear on its own. All you need to do is put a little bit into your crease and blend it out with a brush. And yeah, I've been super obsessed with it. It stays on all day, it does not crease. Once you kind of put it in there and blend it out, it sets and it just looks super bronzy and beautiful. And yeah, definitely worth checking out. I know Charlotte Tilbury can be a little bit expensive, but I felt like this was one of those products that was worth investing in. And I can't wait to see and try out more from her, hopefully eventually. <laughs> all right guys, so that's it for my top favorite products that I use. I would also just like to thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today to watch it. It really does mean a lot to me and I can't wait to create more content for you guys to watch. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.